Don't be amazed. How do you know which breed is ideal for you when looking for a dog? You certainly want your dog to live as long as possible, but what if you fall in love with a breed known for having a shorter lifespan? Getting the facts ahead of time will help you prepare for what to expect and maximize your time together. Big animals often live longer lives than smaller creatures. Larger creatures are typically at the top of the food chain with fewer predators. In the case of domestic dogs, the converse is true, with smaller canines outliving larger breeds. Researchers are still investigating this, but they believe that larger dogs' quick growth contributes to them aging faster and getting ailments earlier, resulting in a shorter lifespan. What health problems can cause a shorter life? Some dog breeds are more prone to specific illnesses and diseases. Great Danes, St. Bernards, and Mastiffs are prone to bloat, a condition in which the blood supply to essential organs is cut off when their stomach is twisted. Proper feeding strategies, such as giving your dog smaller, more frequent meals and avoiding exercising them soon before or after a meal, can help prevent bloat. Cancer is the leading cause of death in several breeds of dogs. Irish Wolfhounds, Rottweilers, and Mastiffs are particularly susceptible to bone cancer. Older canines are also more vulnerable to various malignancies. One thing dog owners may do to lower their dog's risk of developing cancer is to help their dog maintain a healthy weight. Having an overweight dog increases the chances of developing some malignancies, as well as diabetes and heart disease. What can you do to help your dog live longer? Here are a few pointers to help your dog live a longer life. If you acquire your dog from a breeder, be sure they follow all of the correct breeding requirements to avoid certain conditions caused by inbreeding and overbreeding. Ensure that your dog receives proper veterinary care, such as exams and needed vaccines. Feeding schedules and food kinds should be as prescribed by your veterinarian. Keep an eye on your pet's weight to prevent them from becoming overweight, which can lead to problems. Exercise your dog according to its breed. Be aware of unique difficulties for your dog's breed and age, and be on the lookout for indicators of trouble so that it may be addressed as soon as possible. How long do dogs live? It definitely varies on the breed, but the average lifespan of a dog is 10 to 13 years. They can even live for almost 30 years. Keeping your dog healthy and at a healthy weight allows them to live longer. What breeds have the shortest lifespans? Rottweilers have a bad reputation for being violent dogs, but with proper training and socialization, they are lovable pets just like any other breed. Rottweilers are among the smaller canines on our list, but they are strong, with males averaging 95, 135 pounds. They have short dark coats with rust tints on their faces and paws. Rottweilers live between nine and 10 years and have the following concerns as a breed, bone cancer and parvovirus. Newfoundlands can weigh up to 150 pounds and have a shoulder height of 28 inches. Despite their size, they are a docile breed that is well-suited to children. Nana, the dog in Peter Pan, is a Newfoundland. These dogs have flat, coarse fur in a range of hues, including brown, white, black, and black and white. They are actually good swimmers because of their partially webbed paws. Newfoundlands can live to be between 9 and 10 years old. The following are some of the most common problems with this breed. Heart failure due to subaortic stenosis, bloat, heat-related issues, and sensitivity to anesthesia. Bulldogs are not large dogs, yet they have more health difficulties than most breeds, resulting in shorter lifespans. Bulldogs are distinguished by their wrinkly, flat features, droopy cheeks, and loose skin. The males are short and stocky, weighing close to 50 pounds. Bulldogs are available in a range of colors and designs, Owners of bulldogs often claim that their dogs have the cutest faces, but not everyone agrees. The bulldog usually lives between eight and 10 years with some issues to be concerned about being, breathing issues due to being brachycephalic, compromised immune systems, and heat-related issues. When I think of large dogs, I think of St. Bernard's. These are the Alps rescue dogs who have been photographed with a barrel around their necks. The part of the narrative about the rescue is factual, but the cask of brandy is made up. St. Bernard's are increasingly popular huge pets that can grow to be 30 inches tall and weigh 180 pounds. 
Their coloring is a mixture of brown and white with dark brown around their faces. A white snout, white tummy and paws, and a tan back. St. Bernard's have an eight to 10 year life expectancy, and they are prone to the following health problems, heart disease, cancer, epilepsy, and bloat. Great Danes and Irish Wolfhounds are two of the world's tallest dog breeds. The Great Dane stands 30, 32 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs 140, 175 pounds on average. Their fur is quite short and coarse, and it comes in a variety of colors and patterns. It's incredible to watch these giants run since they have such lengthy legs. Bloat is a big worry for Great Danes who have a life expectancy of seven to 10 years. Because of their charming temperaments, these huge canines are a fuzzy favorite. Bernese Mountain Dogs weigh approximately 110 pounds and stand 27 inches tall with long fur. Their fur is a blend of black on the back, white on the chest and paws, and rust on the legs and face markings. Bernese Mountain Dogs have a life expectancy of seven to 10 years. However, there have been concerns in recent years that this is decreasing owing to breeding techniques and may be closer to six to eight years. They are also more likely than other breeds to develop cancer. These are the giant's concerns, cancer, bloat, and heart issues. The Bull Mastiff is a mix of bulldogs and mastiffs, as the name suggests. They truly resemble a bulldog's head on a mastiff's body. They can weigh up to 130 pounds and stand 27 inches at the shoulder. Bull Mastiffs are excellent guard dogs, since they were developed in England to deter poachers. They have a life expectancy of seven to nine years, which is comparable to that of the Bulldog and Mastiff. Common concerns include bloat, heart disease, and cancer. Mastiffs are massive canines with short tan fur and black cheeks and ears. May you believe Mastiffs may weigh up to 230 pounds? These enormous dogs are extremely affectionate and devoted to their owners. They are more prone to bone cancer than other dogs. Thus, breeders take this into consideration while breeding. Mastiffs can live for six to 10 years with the following common concerns, bone cancer, bloat, and heart disease. The Irish Wolfhound is the tallest dog breed recognized by the American Kennel Club, standing 32 inches at the shoulder. That's almost three feet tall. They are built similarly to greyhounds, but are larger and have longer fur. They were designed to hunt wolves and their size allows them to do so, but they are calm, kind pets who love their owners. They have one of the lowest life expectancies with an average of six to eight years. Concerns about the Irish Wolfhound include bone cancer, heart disease, von Willebrand's disease, bloat, lymphoma, and hyperthyroidism. The French Mastiff has one of the shortest lifespans of any dog breed in the world, with some living barely five years and others living up to eight years. The French Mastiff has such a long history that we are unaware of its original roots. They have the same face as bull mastiffs, but are shorter and stockier, weighing 110 pounds and standing 23 inches tall on average. They can become faithful pets, if you don't mind puddles of drool here and there, with proper training and socializing when they are young. They do have a number of health issues that cause them to live shorter lives, such as the following. Breathing issues due to being brachycephalic, heat issues, heart issues, and breathing causes strain on other organs. So if you have a huge heart for a big dog, you should know what you're getting yourself into. These dogs can bring company and love for many years. Some dog owners who like these breeds are aware that they will have the opportunity to possess several of these canines during their lifespan. While some people like having multiple of these breeds at the same time, imagine the dog food expenses. With continued study, it is feasible that the health difficulties that are frequent in certain breeds can be resolved, resulting in a longer lifespan for some of these beloved dogs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content about our furry friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.